Well, it looks like 2023 here in Tacoma, Washington is going to be another hot summer. So with that in mind, I thought I need to brew something a little more light, a little more crisp, something for these long, hot summer days. So I thought, hey, why not a Kolsch? Now, the Kolsch, in my opinion, is like the Pilsner's cousin. It, it has a fascinating history. And I suggest that if you're all interested in this style, take a look at the wiki page that talks about it. Easy read, simple to uh, go through, a lot of fun. I mean, those Germans and their brewing laws, oh, it's crazy. Fun stuff all the way around, though. Now, when you brew a uh, Kolsch, in my opinion, it's a very easy beer to make. The problem is, though, any process problems will manifest themselves in the final product. So you really have to be attentive to what you're doing. Now, in today's brew, I got to do a big shout out to my good friend, John, the proprietor of John's Homebrew here in Puyallup, Washington. John crafted this uh, recipe and sprinkled in a nice touch of the Pacific Northwest into a very traditional German style in the form of Mountain Hood hops in place of the more traditional Holler Tower. So for those of you who want to do something a little more authentic, if you will, go ahead and replace my Mount Hood hops with Haller Tower one for one and you'll be A-OK. -okay. So I'm going to do this particular video in a slideshow format so I can move it along pretty quickly. You'll see all my recipe, ingredients, processes. I'll be focused on the key points in my opinion and that's all it is. I'm not saying this is the only way, the best way, even the right way. I'm saying it's my way. Maybe so with that all said and done, let me kick things off. Let's start gathering up our materials and have an exciting brew day. Here we go. Let's go. 